Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And previously we had reported about Mike Henry, who plays Cleveland, no longer voicing him on Family Guy. Uh, this was quickly followed by The Simpsons producers acknowledging that they would stop the use of white actors voicing people of color. Well, apparently one of the actors didn't get the memo, or at least he's not agreeing with it. Harry Shear who voices a lot of the characters on The Simpsons, a lot of popular characters, including Mr. Burns, Ned Flanders, uh, Principal Skinner, Smithers, Lenny, Kent uh, Brockman, and Reverend Lovejoy. Uh, he also voices Dr. Hibbert and does that voice, which uh, is, it's always been sort of a parody of like Cliff Huxtable from The Cosby Show. Uh, and so he is now spoken out. Uh, and let's be clear, Harry Shearer has spoken out a lot. It's, it seems like a lot of the cast doesn't always agree with him. I know he was a holdout in sort of the cast negotiations. He's sort of always been outside of the group think of everybody else. Uh, but he has now uh, made it clear that he's not in sync with the decision to stop hiring the white actors to do the voices. Um, Dr. Julius Hibbert is one he does. Um, and he says, I have a very simple belief about acting. Uh, this was to Times Radio. The job of the actor is to play someone who they're not. That's true. Uh, obviously, this has been an issue as the as Deadline here reports due to the it all started really getting heavy with this documentary, The Problem with Apu, which ugh, I've talked to a lot of people. That, that It's a frustrating documentary because, yes, there are some people who are offended by Apu, but a lot of those people didn't actually really know the character of Apu. They were just mad at the stereotype of Apu. But I would argue Apu is way more than a stereotype. Just because people decide to use that stereotype doesn't mean the character is is, you know, that stereotype you know what i'm saying so it's a frustrating generalization to me of the character of Pooh, which i think we need to give more credit to uh though Shear pointed out that he was not opining on whether the producer's recent decision was a mistake the actor said about playing a range of characters that's the gig that's the job description i think there's a conflation between representation which is important Shear suggested he had he disagreed with conflation between representation and performance people from all backgrounds should be represented in the writing and producing ends of the business so they help decide what stories to tell and with what knowledge he said adding about the acting side the job is playing someone i'm not so he makes a very good point. As I said in that previous story too, if they want to really make change, then add people of color in the writer's room, in the production. If you really want to do it, Seth MacFarlane and all these people in The Simpsons, then give up your role for others. Uh, that's really what I think they're trying to say here, but then they don't want to admit it. Just removing Cleveland to me, which, you know, granted you could say is Mike's decision, which a lot of people have, and so what's the big deal? But removing just the voice to me doesn't solve the problem. He's already made the voice. The voice is there. It's going to live forever. Unless you're removing the old episodes and re-recording them, it's there. If you really want to make change, then make a new character or keep Cleveland and write a new African-American character that's written by African-Americans. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, there's more that can be done than just replacing the voice. And then will the voice be a, the same sound alike? Or are they just going to suddenly have a new voice? Uh, a lot of question marks there. Uh, but Shear continued uh, to say uh, this was not an opinion of self. Uh, it's not of one of self-interest. We don't get paid by the voice, he made clear. Uh, and so that's interesting because obviously he voices a lot of characters who I just showed you between Burns, Flanders, Skinners, etc. Clearly there's a flat rate for him to be paid. Uh, and it's not because of, of Dr. Hibbert that he loses money, which is interesting because I'm sure then that'll be the same for Hank Azaria, who's no longer voicing a poo. Um, and so that, that, that's good to know, uh, because it helps in sort of the, the state of things. But I, look, I, I agree with Harry here. I think he's making a point. He's not saying he's not going to do it, but he's, he's allowed to voice his sort of concern and saying, well, that's what acting's for. I mean, and it goes all ways as we've sort of, as I previously reported, you know, it's like, who, who's to say this is, you know, <laughs> Who's to say what color can voice what color? Because right now, you know, Darth Vader is a white guy voiced by an amazing black actor. Is that not the same thing? I, I understand. Now, look, I, I understand that representation is important and there aren't as many roles available. And this is the voice acting community is a small one. And so I get it. There, there needs to be more opportunities for other people. But at the same time, the voice community is already pretty hard, even for anybody to get into. You sort of have to know somebody or you have to have voice experience, right? And so I understand representation is important because more people need more voice experience. But there's a lot of people of color with who have... Prime, you know, Phil Lamar is a fa fantastic voice actor who's done a lot and voices all races. Um, it's just, there are, I just think this argument is frustrating because it's like, yes, representation matters moving forward, then hire more people of color, right? That's the solution. Going back to recast the ones we already have made 
to me is a step backwards. And now sort of acknowledging, well, as the Simpsons here said, that, you know, a white person can never now voice a person of color. I think it's a slippery slope. I mean, that is a version of segregation, whether you like it or not, it is. That's where we're sort of going towards. So we just got to be careful. Like, cause I, I look, the actors should do what they want. Mike Henry has every opportunity to say, you know what? I'm not comfortable doing this voice anymore. I'd like someone else to do it. If that's really what he's doing, then more power to him. That's respect. Go do it. But I think Family Guy, if you really want to change Mc, Seth MacFarlane and crew, write more people of color that are not just, you know, jokes or stereotypes. Same to The Simpsons. Like, come up with new characters. I think that's really what would, would change the problem here, right? And instead of just going back and sort of not even just remove, we, we shouldn't remove our history, I, I, definitely not re-record and just do everything. It's, it's there. But moving forward, create better characters. And not only by the voice, but from the production and the writing. You know, representation needs to, to be all boards, not just the voice. Granted, we need more, you know, uh, representation in, in voice acting. I, I, I do agree. But just solving this problem by saying no more white actors will voice that is to me not enough there's there's more that needs to be done so harry Shear, uh i think uh, has, has always been one to sort of step out of the box and sort of say what he thinks right or wrong uh but focusing on what he's saying here again focusing on this this comment uh the job of an actor is to play someone who they're not that's facts guys i, I don't understand People from all backgrounds should be represented in the writing and production, production ends of the pro business so they help decide what stories to tell and what with what knowledge. He's right. They need to be at the top. The job is playing someone I'm not. I mean, how much, to me, that's it. And this idea that they don't get paid by the voice just shows like he's not just saying this because he's bummed because he wants the gig. He's saying it because he, he's acknowledging and seeing that this is a slippery slope. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think in the comments. Uh, when I did this before for the Cleveland video, a lot of you agreed, but some of you disagreed. Uh, let's have that conversation again down below. Uh, it's important to have that conversation so we can get all sides because, I, again, like I'm saying, I'm not. I, a lot of people took me out of context then. They probably will now. It's not about not having representation. I think we, that is an important thing in the world. Uh, you know, people of color haven't had the opportunities to get into voiceover work as white actors have, starting way, way, way back. And so, you know, opportunities need to open up to give everybody the same chance. Ideally, we get to a point where everybody has the same right or opportunity to get the role, right? Uh, but until then, you got to give people more experience so they can become experienced voice actors. And that voiceover community, it's a tight-knit crew. I know a lot of voiceover actors who are struggling because now celebrities just come in and take the jobs from them. Uh, so everyone's just trying to get work is really what it's about. And I think, sure, we need more people of color on The Simpsons. Family Guy voiced by proper, you know, the same race, I think, is good. Uh, at the same time, let's be careful about going back and readjusting, re-recording things we've already set in stone. Make better hiring positions above so we can actually tell those stories properly and correctly uh, and make sure their stories being told right. So uh, leave me your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. You can also hit me up with other suggestions or stories if you see them out there over at Andy Signor on social media. It's Tuesday night. We'll be live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific for Change Our Mind with Jody. If you got a topic you want us to hit, again, hit us up down below. In the meanwhile, check out some of his other content and be sure to subscribe here to Popcorn Planet. Thanks, everybody.